Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and today we have a bit of a delayed unboxing. Um, I actually received this package last week, opened it last week, recorded a video last week, um, and then life took over and I never got to watch the video or have time to upload it until last night. Um, and then when I watched it, I realized the entire video was upside down. Um, as you can see, anybody who's been sort of watching my videos, I have a slightly different setup. Um, and because I'm clueless about technology, apparently, um, I record the whole thing upside down. And without, you know, having to, you know, try to find a way to edit it so I can turn the video right side up, I just gave up and thought, I'm just going to re-record the video. It's probably way easier and way faster. It's not going to give me as much of a headache. Um, however, it is not a virgin up, uh, unboxing, and uh, it's missing white one item now. But anyway, so like I said, I received this last week. It's a, it's a Lug Life order, so I ordered this online. There was a QVC equivalent uh, sale on the Canadian site uh, with some really, really good deals. Plus, I had a Christmas coupon, a coupon from the Christmas box I wanted to use up. So I got some really, really, really amazing deals. Even though I wasn't really expecting to make an, a lug order this year, at least not very many, I actually ended up caving because I couldn't resist. So anyways, like I said, this is sort of an old, uh, I guess I've done this already, so um, all the stuff is sort of out of its um, plastic packaging, but I'm going to do it anyways because a girl's got to show off her lug, right? Anyway, so there we go. Um, and because I know that I'm not going to be getting too many orders this year, I thought I may as well just do this unboxing because I kind of like the stuff that I got. All right, so here we go. So first of all, like I said, everything's already kind of open, so you're going to sort of, you know, you're not all the, all the stuff is pretty much out of the plastic. But I am going to firstly talk about this guy. So I did get a pen, so thank you, Lug. And um, if you can see, it is the wild, Wildlife, sorry, the, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really not able to think, uh, the Fireworks Black, which is an older print. Um, and I wasn't expecting to find older prints in the pens. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if that means they're going to start coming out with older prints in pens again. Because uh, unless they're, unless this is like a little preview as to what's coming, perhaps they're going to start putting this print in newer bags. So I don't know if it means it's going to be we're going to start getting retro print pens or if we're going to start seeing retro print in newer bags. So we shall see. But it is interesting that this is an older print that I, I think it's been discontinued for, what, two years? Um, and even then they didn't bring out too many items in this print. And then to, you know, put out a bag, to put out a bag. <sighs> to uh, put out a, uh, a pen in this, I think is kind of interesting. So thank you, Lug, for the pen. Um, okay, so let's first go into this guy. So this is, I don't know what number this is. I believe this is my at least sixth full-size trolley. Um, yeah, so this is the trolley in Paws Navy. Um, I have purchased this item before in the past and then I sold it to somebody. I got a really good deal on it a while ago and I, I got it because it was such a good deal and then I realized I didn't really need it. So instead of keeping it around, I sold it to somebody else and then not too long ago I discovered I actually needed it after all and when this went on sale, I forget what it was, it was still a really good price. It wasn't as good I think, but it was a good enough price that I, I went for it because I, like I said I did need it. Um, I decided to purchase it. So it's it's full. I already filled it because like I said I bought this last week. So I actually have, um, I discovered that one of my cats has diabetes. So we've got um, syringes and drugs and all, I've got senior cats and um, there's, a, there's a lot of medical needs now. <laughs> and so I've decided to um, have one very uh, sort of cute lug uh, trolley just for the kitties so that I can sort of figure out, um, you know, so I can carry everything in, around in one spot and be organized and not have a, not have everything sort of scattered all through the house. So older drugs on the one side, the ones that we're definitely using all the time in here. Um, I've got Q-tips on the back and I think other syringes for, you know, giving other kinds of drugs and supplements and things like that. So it is a really, it's working really well for me. And I love that I can carry it like into the kitchen or into the living room or wherever the cat happens to be so I can do what I need to do. And um, yeah, with the top handle, it's awesome. And it's just so cute. And it really does make, um, you know, having to do all those horrible things that you have to do to your poor pet um, a little bit more pleasant when you're looking at the lug that you got to carry all your stuff in. So it's kind of become my, my doctor bag, my medicine bag. So that's that one. And then I've got a bunch of flashes. Um, so first of all, I did get this one. So this is the Cat's Orchid um, 
uh, flash. I got it because I wasn't sure if this was going to be uh, what I needed. I wasn't sure this was going to be too big or if the layout wasn't going to work for my needs. Sorry about the camera shake. Um, so I got this one in case I needed something smaller. I wanted to be a little, I wanted to sort of consolidate more. Um, as it turns out, this is working really, really well. So I've decided to keep it in there and I think I'm going to give this as a gift to someone. I actually have um, a friend who uh, I've been giving some of the, um, some of the other, I guess, uh, things in the line in this in this uh in this print so i think this is going to be part of their christmas gift so there we go so that's going to in the cat's orchid and that's the flash in the cat's orchid that's going to stay in the plastic until i give that away at christmas and then these two were mine um again already opened but um i do love them so they are in the uh, well i guess i'm gonna talk about this one first so this is the amber yellow and i got it because i actually have an arpeggio in the brushed gray and some of the accents are this amber yellow and I wanted something in that bag that I could sort of give it a little bit more pop because it's a lot of gray in that bag um, and I wanted something a little bit more fun plus I do like the flash um, I do like the way like sort of the layout that you can sort of open it like a book and see everything but mainly I actually got it I know it seems weird but I got it because of the lining I actually love this lining and I kind of wish they had more of it. I'm a little sad that they haven't really brought anything out in this lining in a very long, long time. Um, I'm afraid they're sort of retiring it or it's already been retired, but I love it because it's got so many fun little colors. So obviously there's like that amber there. That's like a teal. I don't know if you can see that one, that one sort of leaf there. There's a teal. That's like either a peach or like a, a sand. That's a gray. This might be like a black or a very dark gray, like a smoke gray. So there's lots of really nice colors in there. And I actually think it's adorable. I think it's really cute. I think it complements this really, really well. Um, I'm not really into leopard print, and I think that's what some of the amber items are coming out in these days. And I think, what is it? There's that, that um, wildlife sand. Um, anyway, so I happen to love this particular print. So I don't think there were many left in stock, and I just wanted to make sure I got it before... They discontinued it officially, and I really like it. So, and I do like this color. I don't have many items in it because I don't want to use this as an outside color. Like if I had a bag, like a larger bag in this color, I'm still really afraid it's going to get very, very dirty very quickly, and it's just going to look grungy. So I thought, well, maybe I'll get smaller items in it. And there weren't that many smaller items that came in this print. So when this came out, um, I really wanted it, but it was just a little too expensive. And then finally, got the price came down to a place that I thought, yes, I can handle it. So I got one. So there we go. So that's going to go in my arpeggio when I finally use my um, brush gray arpeggio. And this one is the ocean blue, which I don't have anything in at all. I've been wanting to get something in this color for a long time, ever since it's come out. Um, actually, even before that, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the like original lug colors, like the ones that, w that came out like six, seven, maybe eight years ago. Um, they had a whole line of stuff when I first discovered it, there was like a, like a sort of a, a, I don't know, like a purpley wine. There was a bright yellow. I think they may have had red. And I feel like they had this color too. Um, anyways, and they were, they were all solids. There were no prints. Uh, and when I found it, it was like a travel store, like, like a travel slash organization store. And uh, that was the first time I'd seen it. And then I started seeing it like in luggage stores and all that. And this was always the color that appealed to me. So I never caught it because... They were expensive at the time, and I didn't know what the quality was. I didn't know anybody who actually had this, uh, who had ever purchased anything in this uh, in this line before, so I sort of decided not to bother. Anyway, so here it is. This is finally my first one in this color, and I love it, because I'm actually a blue-green kind of person. And I wasn't really sure what color this would be. Um, like some of the photos that I've seen, it looks more blue. Sometimes it's more green. Sometimes it's more yellow. Sometimes it's almost like a darker sort of, purple depending on the shade on the on the sh like the, the the lighting so I thought okay I'm just gonna buy it I do like this thing I'm sure I'm gonna find a use for it and I was hoping it was going to match the bluey sort of tealy colors that are in the flamingo blue set because I have a flamingo blue uh trolley peekaboo that's uh, trolley a uh, peekaboo tote and I'm hoping that this is gonna go in there when I use it as like an actual tote bag um, and it'll look kind of cute in there. So that's my hope. Anyways, and I also got it because I actually really quite like this sort of seashelly star, like starfish kind of background. And I do like it. And I don't know if anyone has noticed this. This, at least, I don't know if it's every item, but there's like a pearly sort of sheen to this. It's kind of got a pearlescence kind of shimmer to that lining. And I don't know if it's just because 
um, of the color and it looks like it does, but it does look kind of shimmery. And I really like it. It sort of gives it that extra something. Um, and um, yeah, I just love the blues and greens. So I'm very happy that I got it. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to match my other bag that I mentioned. I have to. I haven't, I haven't pulled it out yet. Sort of deep, deep in the back of my cupboard that I put away for this for the winter. And I'm hoping to pull it out uh, maybe in the next couple of months and start using it for the summer or for the spring at the very least. Anyway, so there we go. So that's the um, that's the ocean blue, which I am definitely liking. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Or other, I guess there were some photos I was a bit scared about. So I'm really glad it wasn't that. So I'm really glad that I got it, and I'm really glad that I got such a good price. I think it was twenty. 24 Canadian and then I, I was and I used my um, $50 off the hundred dollar thing uh, purchase and so I bought one two three flashes plus the um, plus this guy here the trolley for I want to say 40 something uh, and then there was like an extra yeah like whatever my discount was so everything worked out to be really 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 inexpensive um, like I think once the coupons came off the coupon came off I think each of the flashes was around $15 and then there was tax so anyway I'm very happy with my purchase so there we go so oh the other thing that I actually did receive as well in this package um, some of you who have seen this video these are my videos before know that I have a few friends that I do order uh, per sorry, make I make lug purchases with so that we all shave save on shipping. I'm so sorry, <laughs> haven't been sleeping much recently, and um, starting to slur my words. Anyway, so we save on shipping. So she actually ordered a um, a VL uh, swing in the uh, I think it was green. I think it was the olive green. And so when this package came in last week, I called her up and said, "Hey, it's in." And she came to pick it up that night. So um, it did make the first video uh, that I filmed upside down, but it didn't make this one because it's already gone. But it was very nice, and I was actually really quite happy to see because I don't have a swing, and I'd never seen that color in the vegan leather. So um, it was really nice to see that color and see the sizing of the swing in real life. Anyway, so that's the order. I hope you enjoyed this weird un unboxing video, um, this very late sort of delayed unboxing video. Um, hope you had a, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Take care. See you next time.